Hey, what's up guys? Brad with Squared Away Every Day, and today we are gonna be talking about the 21-inch Uber turbine wheel that comes on your Tesla Model Y Performance and how that held up on my cross-country road trip that I just got back from. Now, the biggest concern with this particular wheel is that it doesn't give you a lot of protection for curb rash or hitting a pothole or anything like that. And that is true, and we are gonna address that in the video and some tips that I have for you to go ahead and mitigate that risk. And we'll talk about how well the wheel and tire combo did that I selected ahead of the road trip being so far from home and having no spare. If you like this kind of content, please go ahead and give me a like, give me a sub, and let's hop into the video. Okay, so here's the deal. As you get the car from the factory, it is just simply unacceptable. They put too little rubber on the tire. They stretch it so much that they have little rolling resistance, but what that does is it makes you prone to blowing a bead on the road. So here's your wheel. Here's the tire that's wrapped around it, and the wheel takes the brunt of anything. Whether you hit a curb or you hit a pothole, anything like that, the wheel is gonna take first impact, and that is a problem other than just aesthetics. It's a problem because if you damage the wheel to such a degree that you lose a bead, that car, the vehicle, for that moment in time is pretty much out of commission. And so what we need to do as soon as we get our car with the 21 inch Uber turbine wheels is we need to resize the tires that we put on that particular wheel. Now go ahead and check out my video, tire size options for your Tesla Model Y performance. I'll go ahead and link it up here somewhere. And in that video, I talk about the ideal tire size to where you're gonna have little to no rub inside of the wheel well, but you're also gonna have protection on that particular wheel. Now, on my travels on the road, the 2,100 miles that I drove one way and then 2,100 miles back, video incoming, by the way, lots of lessons on the road, uh, just traveling via Tesla across the country. But the point is, is you're not always going to, going to be able to avoid that really bad pothole. And so you need to have something set up to where you have a little bit of rigidity, resilience, if you're not going to be a 100% perfect driver. And in that video, the tire size that I recommend is absolutely perfect. Now, because of um, supply chain issues, this is better than what you're going to get from factory, but it's not 100% ideal. And it's just because I couldn't get everything I needed to in wintertime and I needed an all season tire. So my recommendation to you, get a different set of tires. The second one is going to be you need to carry some sort of fix a flat or some sort of patch kit and a compressor with you pretty much on the daily when you've got one of these Teslas. And that's just because there is no spare tire. Now I didn't have to use it on my road trip and I was really thrilled with the rim or wheel protection, whatever you like to call it, that I had from the tire setup I was running, uh, mainly because I hit some pretty bad potholes and didn't blow a bead and didn't damage the the wheel, which was awesome. Yay for that. That is really fantastic. But in the event that I did blow, um, a, a, uh, well, if you blow a bead, you're pretty much out of commission. But in the event that I did get a flat or something like that, that could be repaired with just fix a flat, just a can, or with a patch and compressor, you need to carry that in your vehicle at all times. So in short, the 21 inch Uber turbine wheel, how did it hold up? It held up great. The only downside really that I can see to the Uber turbine wheel is going to be the weight. It is a very heavy wheel. Now it is fairly stout. That's nice, but it's a heavy wheel. So it is going to decrease your range. So long and the short of it, do you need to upgrade your 21 inch Uber turbine wheel straight from the factory? No, but you do need to upgrade your tires because that is what's ultimately going to give you the protection on the wheel. And it's not going to decrease the tire sizes I give you in that other video. It's not going to decrease the um, range on your vehicle hardly at all, and it is going to give you much more protection. Now, if you like this kind of content, please go ahead and give me a like, give me a sub, and we'll see you in the next one.